morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show. For the newcomers guys, my name is Didi Taihutu, also known as the guy that went all into Bitcoin a few years ago. Because three and a half years ago, we as a family sold our house, our companies, literally everything we owned went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, three and a half years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price. We are going to talk about the DEXs. We are going to talk about the trade of the week. I'm going to share Lisa's TA about Bitcoin, Ethereum and some other really beautiful projects. Also showing you how much we made with last week's trade of the week and also showing you which trade of the week we just called out in the show this morning taking a look at the whole volume in the market and we will end the video with talking about countries that are still banning bitcoin and why we will not visit these countries in the next couple of months maybe even telling you which country we will visit after spain enjoy today's video guys Hi guys, like you are used, on Mondays I'm always publishing my videos a little bit later because I already did a YouTube show in the morning at 8 o'clock with Sean and Lisa and Edwards. I'm adding a part of that show into this video as well because every Monday Lisa is doing the charting in the show so I will add these charts about Bitcoin, Ethereum and the trade of the week into this video as well yesterday we went eating tapas here in spain in the small village near the place where we are staying um, like you're used in spain sitting on the streets on a very cheap table like this real spanish atmosphere in a small village where all these spanish people gather in the streets and sit there and have a drink and eat some tapas we had amazing tapas all kinds of tapas and an amazing tasteful dish of paella we only ordered for three persons paella and that was even enough for the four of us but we did eat a lot of tapas as well normally in spain the people eat paella for dinner in the afternoon and then in the evening they eat tapas but we Dutchies, we ate tapas and paella in the evening. Uh, we were stuffed at the end, but the food was amazing. The wine was amazing. It was a very nice evening with my parents-in-law. We had great conversations of life and of our next goals as a family and what we are going to do next from here. I will talk about that a little bit later in the video as well. But let's start with throwing some charts at you guys. Let's take a look at this chart. Bam! this chart you can see the whale clusters you can see that a lot of whales bought between 9 and 12k and you can see that the most bitcoins now are between these 12k and the 14k area so most whales are now in profit the ones that bought in around 12k they are now waiting for the 14k to be go in profit so in my opinion this chart is showing us that there is a huge amount of accumulation around 9k to 12k and they are all expecting us to go to 14k where they will probably try to sell a little bit of their bitcoin stash to make some profit again this is the game that whales are playing we can zoom out and we can just buy bitcoins and hold it till we arrive at 16k 20k or 100k next year so they are playing a different type of game that you as an investor must not play as an investor you buy and you huddle that is what you do as an investor but as this chart is showing this is a puel indicator that is showing that we are probably are going to see a breakout to 14k and that would be really cool because that would mean we are going to break 12k now we did close the weekly candle yesterday above 11,700 US dollar which is amazing I think the candle was closed around 11,800 when we are able to break 12k now and go up from there and use 12k as a support for the future bull run for the rest of the bull run I should say because the bull run has already started it would be amazing if you could keep this level as support now but let's take a look at what Lisa has to say and please also take a look at this chart BAM this chart was the trade of the week last week. Lisa told us to buy Sol. 
I did buy Sol. I even said keep the Sol alive. Sol gave me a return of investment in a week time of 40%. Not even a week because the profit was already there after three, four days. So 40%, one Bitcoin became 1.4 Bitcoin. So I would advise you to take a look at this trade of the week, which she will explain in the next couple of minutes in this video, where you can see what Lisa is expecting for Bitcoin, where you can see what Lisa is expecting for Ethereum, and where you can see which trade of the week Lisa is telling you to buy now and to probably make another 40% or something like that, because every trade of the week Lisa has shared with us guys has brought profit we didn't lose on one of these trades of the week all of these trades of the week have been profitable but please be aware we are not financial advisors it's a trading game some you win some you lose but we have been winning a lot with these trades of the weeks so check out the next couple of minutes if you want to know what the trade of the week is now hey 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 Hey, <laughs> good morning. Good, good afternoon. Good evening. Come on, Davey. We need you. Good morning. Please. Wherever you are in this beautiful world. <laughs> well done on your trade of the week, Lisa. And you, you gave everyone a fantasmic week with a 40% uh, call it has there. It's been a Very little nice. bit fantasmic, hasn't it? Davey's loving it. Davey's yep. yeah. one. Keep Link the soul you. alive. Keep the soul alive. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed the link call as well. You caught it to 20 bucks. So I'm very interested to have a look at that chart with you because I think you signaled a pullback around that, that region as well. As yeah, I, I don't think we're getting a pullback until 22. So right. I think it's, you know, 20 is too obvious. I think we'll get a small pullback here and then we'll get a larger pullback at 22. We usually start the show by slinging shit at each other for five minutes. Now we're just straight into talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's been quite a few uh, green dildos. This is my dog in the background. So, <laughs> a week of dildos, Lisa. A week. A week, a week of green dildos. Green dildos. Not just, not just any dildo, Sean. No. Didi, how's your week been? <laughs> how my dildos are, or what did you say? How's, how <laughs> I didn't understand what you said. <laughs> how has your week been? <clears throat> My week was um, from Monday till Sunday, fully full with green dildos, profits, sex, children, not combined, just my children, you know, a lot of conversations about the next goal in life, about the next place we are going to visit in this green dildo forest somewhere. Yeah, it's... it's, it's I get, <laughs> A green dildo I, I, forest. <laughs> Yeah, I don't sleep anymore. You know, I, I, I'm addicted, fully addicted to this trading game again. I wake up in the night uh, checking my iPhone. Oh, for yeah, for the viewers, I had to yell at him to get off his phone. He was, he's been sitting there making trades for the, for the last 15 minutes. So, uh, yes, it's, uh, it's full on. Pay close attention. Well, I, I went to, like, my special friend's house and, to his horror, I had my laptop open with Bitcoin charts. I know for sure, Sean, I know for sure, because there was one day in the weekend that Lisa, that. Didn't, that Lisa didn't text me that much, you know? And I was like, why is she not texting? And then suddenly, on some moments, I received a text. So that were the moment she went to the toilet to <laughs> secretly text me, like, do this, this, and this. And then she went back to the boyfriend in bed or wherever she, he was. And oh. then she was like, oh, not responding to Didi now anymore, because... She was with her very handsome. Oh, Lisa, those, those sneaky bathroom calls to, to Dee. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. I was like, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Got to get my phone. Got to text Dee. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, so this is, um, we're in this pattern again, which is really exciting. So, uh, you know, a, about a month ago, I think it was, I said we had this uh, me love you long time green handle that Didi and I were talking about. <laughs> so I really believe we've got another one coming, which is really going to fuck all the bears. And it's like, <laughs> this is about to happen. Those fucking bears. <laughs> 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 Good yeah. morning. If you're watching, it's like, be careful if you're bad because you're about to get a green dildo. Lady right and Lisa up. are going to sneak up behind you with a big <laughs> green dildo. 
Yeah, so Ourselves. potentially, uh, because this is a, a liquidity zone and uh, the shorts are building in this area because obviously we're sort of going sideways for quite some time. So um, we've had this sort of uh, sideways movement for nearly a week. Uh, we've had this this big drop from the top of the channel. So we're, we're in this very clear channel and we've been here uh since the 27th of july we broke out we had this this little bit of a jump out but you know the um whales decided that's it we're not this isn't it yet so pushed us right down we hit the support of this channel uh which was really impressive obviously they had a lot of orders in this region and then we were straight back up so uh we appear to have finished this correction it's possible still to sort of drop around to the sort of 11,450-ish mark. That's okay with me. Um, I'll have a, another couple of orders waiting there if we do. And uh, once we take off, I think we're going to about 13,500, 14,000. And I think that will be a very, very quick movement. Um, I, I think that's just going to be like this massive explosion going through all the bears. Uh, you know, you've got that as rocket fuel. And um, we've also got a whole heap of um, futures on the way that are coming. So, uh, you know, the, the way the sort of the money moves around the market is it goes from your DeFi, DeFi alts into your top cap alts and then into sort of Bitcoin. So um, at the moment, we, we've gone through the DeFi alts again. We're kind of slowly moving into the top cap alts, the top 100, and, and then we'll go back into Bitcoin. So um, yeah, so we've, we've got these, these moves that have been happening over the last six months. And if you trace the sort of the money sort of flow, that's how it sort of moves at the moment. We can see that uh, there's lots of Tether being printed and sent to Binance and to Bitfinex and to OKX which isn't going into BTC at the moment, it's going into the alts. And um, so those uh, loans get repaid at, uh, it's $70,000, they're 7% loans, so $70,000 per million dollars. And, um, and then they sort of get recycled around. So, you know, they're, they're making these massive amounts of money on the alts, pushing it into BTC, pushing BTC up, it holds the levels and then rinse, repeat. So. Um, now, the reason I've, I've held this trade for so long is because the weekly needed to close above 10,700 uh, for Bitcoin. This was our pivot. It's our next bullish pivot in this area. And it was, it was really vital that BTC held this region. Um, as I was saying last week, it was, you know, this was sort of the area that we were holding in. And we hadn't really held above this area. Um, so this is the 5th of August 19 here. We've got this, we dropped straight back below. Um, prior to that, the 1st of July 19, we dropped straight back below. We came up um, on the 26th of Feb in 2018, we've dropped straight back below. So it, it's, it was a strong resistance at this point. And we really needed to hold this as support. We need to continue to hold this as support. And that's why I think if we do get a dip, it's only going to be a really temporary thing. Like we could dip down to 10, 450 over the next day or so before we continue up. Um, but the last time we sort of held this region was way back in um, November, December, 2017, just before the bull run. So that's why this region here, is such a pivotal area and such a, a, you know, was a major point that we needed to hold on BTC. Mm. Um, so, you know, the whole of crypto Twitter, when they're becoming bears and everything, you can see that these regions are going to hold because obviously we're building the shorts and that's why I see that massive candle. So on the, on the BLZ chart here, um, this next wave potentially goes up to 15,000. So um, we're currently at about 12. So that's a $3,000 move. So I, I don't think it's going to be a $3,000 candle while it is, you know, potentially could happen. Um, I, I kind of think it's going to be sort of like a, a $1,500 to $2,000 candle. Um, we've had those quite often within BTC. We can see these, these candles here. 
um, you know, over these these periods. And during this uh, the bull run, so if we have a look at the weekly candles where they break, so we've got about 10,600-ish here to 14,000, 15,000. So we've got a 4,500 weekly candle. So potentially this could happen in, you know, so in this region. Uh, we are moving into our third wave. So this, this wave that we're moving into is our third wave of our third wave. So the third wave always moves the, the fastest and the swiftest, and it's usually the longest wave. So um, that's why this is potentially possible that this is just going to explode. So with, um, with advertising that they've got going for BTC, we've got newspaper advertising, we've got uh, television advertising in the States, and we've got sort of a, a low level inverted head and shoulders, we could say here. So where we've got a, a deeper shoulder, um, we've got our head here and then a, a very shallow shoulder. So if we, we look at this pattern and we, we put a, a measure it down, there we go. So we're up at that resistance again. So um, this is 17,000. So potentially this next wave formation is, is going to be right up to 17,000 with added FOMO. I want to show you as well, so this resistance that we've got, so it comes through this region that, we, that I was showing you, and it goes right up to this 17,000 region. So um, potentially we've got this candle sort of, you know, breaking up from this region hitting up here and then going into a, a, you know, quite a consolidation before we go through and, you know, head to our, our 21,000. So Litecoin, um, so a lot, a lot of the time, so I want to just talk about, there's a, a particular pattern that we've seen in, in many, many alts in BTC at the moment where uh, we potentially get an ABC or an ABCD, so E. And I tell people to always buy the C because the D and the E is not guaranteed. So when we got this, so we've got potentially at this point, it can turn and it can come down. So with the E wave, it never goes as low as the C wave. So even though it's sort of, it's coming back down, um, you're not guaranteed of ever getting it. So this potentially could always be, because it's a bullish chart, um, where it breaks out at this point, which we did, which means that this wave here is now our wave one and it's an impulse wave. Um, so when I, when I post a chart, I always say, buy the C because you're never guaranteed the, the D and the E. So, and, and people are just trying to, and starting to work this out, which is kind of exciting. So what happens with the resistance as well? Um, we always get a retest. So, um, for those that, you know, see a, a, a coin sort of break out, and then they're like, they FOMO in and they probably FOMO in at this point. And then, you know, the whales and traders like me know, okay, I can sell here because I know we're going to get a retest. <laughs> it's a bit evil, but we do. Um, so we can see on this chart that this next candle has come down first, has retested this previous resistance as support and then taken off. So again, um, We've got this strong resistance here on Litecoin, which we have been sort of, we broke above it at one point, but most of the time we've sort of along here, we've hit this resistance and, and sort of stopped. And we've done that again, but I really feel we're going to break through this region. It's, uh, we're pushing up again in this, in this zone. So our MACD and our RSI is still quite high. This is a 12 hour chart. So we've got a little bit of consolidation through this region here before we take off again. <laughs> this is trade of the week. <laughs> so here we go. We've got Cody. So uh, this is on Binance. This is a four hour chart. We've had some strong movements. We've hit resistance. We're gonna come down into this buy zone. 
Um, and, and then we've got a 75% movement on this chart. So um, this, this has had strong consolidation. We're going to get a short consolidation in this region and then we're going to take off. So uh, I'm going to have some orders waiting within this region for when it drops down. And, and then we've got a 75% trade. Um, it, it's going to take a couple of weeks. It's not going to be a trade that's going to take off today. Um, with that said, who knows? But <laughs> it, can we it will take... call it trade of the weeks? Trade of the weeks. <laughs> so yeah. Trade <laughs> of the weeks. All right, hang on, hang on. Uh, weekly trade of the weeks, because some of them are, are taking a little bit longer. None of which so... have been week, by the way. No, every, every trade that we've done in the trade of the week has hit target. So they, they've been really exciting. So you're pretty much, you, it's not financial advice, but it's a, it's a safe bet. <laughs> it, it's a safe coin toss to uh, do trade of People, the week. Just believe it. Sell your house, sell your cars, sell your airplanes, sell your bikes, sell your 100 pairs of shoes, sell your dog, sell your children, your wife, and go all in. Well, I, 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 actually, I actually said that. So I said, um, you know, if the market cap broke a certain sort of region, that everyone had to go out and sell everything they owned and go all into crypto. It's not financial advice, it's live advice. Sell. <laughs> sell everything you own. Sell. You don't need it. Buy don't need crypto. It. It's like buy everything. You you get the most out of life from experience. Exactly. Hmm. I'm not saying it's going to be a good experience. Yeah. Okay, come on, <laughs> Danny. Say goodbye. See you next week, everyone. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you next week. Bye, bye. bye. Hope you enjoyed the part of Lisa, me and Sean. If you want to see more of this part, please go to the Hard Forking YouTube channel. He makes amazing videos. I think Sean is starting a new kind of show on Wednesday now. So he has a Monday show, a Wednesday show, a Friday show, all different, different types of show. It's a trading show. It's a true fundamental show, etc. He is also creating a really cool documentary called The Real Cryptos where he features many of people in this crypto space. I think it's going to be a kick-ass documentary. So Take a look at Sean's channel as well to give him some support because he can really need some more views and subscribers over there as well. After this amazing TA by Lisa, let's take a look at this chart. Bam! On this chart, you can see that the hash rate has just created an all-time high. We are now at 129 extra hashes per second when it comes to Bitcoin mining. This is a new all-time high in the hash rate. What is this hash rate telling us? The hash rate is telling us that these Bitcoin miners are devoting more and more power to these Bitcoin transactions. The higher the hash rate, the more the dead Bitcoin miners have devoted their power into mining Bitcoin and facilitating all these transactions. So this is telling us that the Bitcoin miners have a huge amount of trust now in Bitcoin and that they think that Bitcoin is going up as well because that is exactly the reason why, are they, why they are devoting more hashing power to Bitcoin now. Because they could also use the hash power for other cryptocurrencies but they are now devoting it to Bitcoin because they think the Bitcoin price will increase soon and they want to accumulate as much as possible bitcoins as well because they also have monthly costs and they need to break even with their monthly costs so when the bitcoin price is increasing it's very profitable for them to mine bitcoin so they are now shifting their hashing power into bitcoin which is often correlated with the bitcoin price so i think the bitcoin price is going up very soon it's going to have an explosive move just like lisa shared with us guys in the ta last uh, in the last few couple of minutes so be aware it's a beautiful time to start to invest a little bit more in bitcoin And if we take a look at this chart, bam, this chart shows you that of all the dApps that are created on the Ethereum blockchain, the DEXs are now the most popular. You can see that EDEX and you can see that Uniswap are now in the top 10 of most used dApps on the Ethereum network when it comes to active users. So this whole decentralized finance industry, this whole DEX industry of decentralized exchanges is growing steeply like we can see on this chart as well. Bam, on this chart we can see that the amount of transactions we did in this last seven days is bigger 
than the whole amount of 2019. This is huge. Again, the volume of the last seven days was as big or even bigger than the volume of whole 2019. You can see these two big red dildos, as Lisa would call them. These two red dildos, guys, they are representing the volume, the growing volume in DEXs, decentralized exchanges. More and more people are understanding the power of these decentralized exchanges where you don't have the need of KYC and all that stuff. And the more decentralized exchange, and the more the normal exchanges are going to require like KYC, the more growth we will see in these DEXs, in these decentralized exchanges, where you can completely trade Bitcoin and completely trust on the privacy you should have in trading cryptocurrency. And then there was this article about banning Bitcoin. Is it possible to completely ban Bitcoin from this world? Because that was the biggest fear all people had like four or five years ago. Oh, but what if I invest in Bitcoin and then these governments start to ban Bitcoin? I already stated then at that time, they are not going to ban Bitcoin. It's not even possible to ban Bitcoin. They can make rules that don't allow you to use Bitcoin or to hodl Bitcoin, or they can even make laws on that you are not, that is illegal to transact Bitcoin. But there are so many laws in this world. Do you obey to all of them? There is also this rule that you need to pay taxes and all that money you have hidden down in a sock or down your, below your mattress or in a pillow. Do you pay taxes on this? Are you really obeying to this rule? There are so many rules you should be obeying to in this world. Man, there are the most strangest rule in the world. Now here in Spain, there is a new rule from today. You cannot smoke on streets. Do you really think that all the people that smoke now will stop smoking on streets? In the Netherlands, there is now this rule that if I come back from Spain to the Netherlands, I need to quarantine myself for two weeks. And if I don't obey to that rule, they will throw me into prison for four years. Do you, are you really going to obey to that rule? Or are you just going to the Netherlands and self-quarantine yourself, but still doing groceries, still walking through the forest? I think I would still be walking through the forest because I don't believe that they will punish me with a four year imprisonment because I wanted some fresh air. So yes, laws, etc., can be created that will make it difficult or that will make you afraid to use Bitcoin, but they cannot ban it. They cannot close down Bitcoin. They cannot stop Bitcoin. That's not possible. They can only create laws against the use of Bitcoin. And then it's up to you to obey this law, yes or no. And to be very clear, there are only a few countries in the world that are still not accepting Bitcoin as this new evolution of money, not accepting blockchain as this new evolution in technology that will create this huge social economic revolution all over the world. I think the only countries that are still a little bit against Bitcoin are Algeria, um, Ecuador, as far as I know, Egypt, Nepal, Pakistan. So these five countries are still a little bit against Bitcoin. And then you have a few countries that are partially banning Bitcoin. I think that is Saudi Arabia and Taiwan. They are partially banning Bitcoin. So these seven countries, we as a family will definitely not visit in the next couple of months, years, till they lift all their bans, um, which is very sad because we would love to visit Nepal. This is one of our bucket list items. So we need to wait till they left the ban on Bitcoin and crypto because I don't want to go in prison because I wear a HODL cap or a Plan B t-shirt or because I HODL Bitcoins on our hardware wallet. By the way, if you don't own hardware wallets, use my referral links in the description of the video because then I again get a referral fee because you are buying a hardware wallet and we use these referral fees to support all pool people all over the world. So by buying a hardware wallet, using my link you're indirectly supporting people that could really use some help that was today's video guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please give the video a thumbs up share it with your community subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell and please leave a comment because i love to respond to your comments you can educate me like i am educating you the more you make comments, the more I have new content for the new videos because I love to hear all these projects that you guys are supporting over there because if you're supporting a project and you're commenting about this project, I can look into this project and I maybe can even include these projects in my, into my videos because I want to educate as much as possible people on everything that is going around in this crypto space. 
I want to thank you for watching today's video. I want to leave it with telling you again, you need to zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thanks you for, thank you for watching today and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye. Thank you.